Hi everybody and uh, welcome to this tutorial on MI Rack. Today I'm going to show you some new modules but also I'm going to show you how to create again a patch and then how to record it as a WAV file. So let's start. Plus sign, tags, mixer. Let's use this time the mix8, not the patch. Let's connect the output of the mixer to the audio output. Here we go. Again, plus sign. Now let's move to a clock. We need a clock. So from imprompt, that's good. Add to patch. <coughs> let's recognize a bit um, things over there. Okay, next. Um, let's get. Um, an oscillator let's use um, something new that i haven't used before the three times oscillator and the patch <clears throat> okay so uh, let's connect the clock one output uh, to the trigger of that oscillator uh, let's do the same for the other two oscillator Yeah, we go. Next, let's let's add um, a sequencer. And let's add a simple one, one I used before for now. The eight step sequencer. Very good. So let's drive again the clock uh, from clock one of the uh, clock module to the sequencer clock, and then let's take the note output from that sequencer into. Uh, the um, free the oct input of the free terms oscillator module okay here we are let's connect the output now that um, oscillator module here we are and now um, let's zoom into the sequencer. Let's create um, a pattern and um, that we can use. Let's shift up uh, an octave for all uh, the seven steps. And then uh, let's try something. Something like that. Now, let's now play with the controls of the oscillator. So let's increase the output first. Let's implement the filter. Lost pass filter. And we make some adjustments as we go. Let's change the wave to a different one. Let's include the number of waves. Let's act on the attack, on the decrease, and the release. Now you can make your adjustment as you like. Okay, now let's do the same for the other oscillators. So we can give more body.
Okay, now let's add a kick drum. Drum, kick, at the patch. I know the drum will sound uh, a little bit low as volume, so let's try to see if we can amplify a little bit. Plus sign, amplifier, VCA, let's add a simple slider. <clears throat> let's set it to VCA, and let's take that output from the kick drum as an input inside the simple slider VCA. And let's drive the trigger from the same clock for the kick drum. And let's take that output and go to the mixer. Oops. Sorry, the output is now deceiving. Okay. Then let's increase the slider at the top and let's play make some adjustment. <laughs> So far so good, now let's add the recorder. Here we go, let's start with the two channel master recorder. Here we are, so now let's connect the input. We take those directly from the mixer output. It's so good now to decrease the, the mix level, otherwise uh, it will distort the way we recorded. We double click on the master recorder, we switch also to 24 bit. Now, what I want to do is to play the patch and choose a file destination, then um, click hit start on the master recorder and record. <laughs> recording and we stopped also the patch from playing now let's go to files on the ipad and we should see under the import folder a new file called test which i just created let's click on it and let's play <laughs> As you can see, uh, we have recorded um, um, uh, that patch playing. Um, so I hope you found this useful and um, some new modules on how to record away files. And see you next time. Thanks. Bye.